Hi everyone, David Burgess here with Keller Williams Realty and today I am in gorgeous sunny Ruskin in South Hillsborough County and I just have to do a video on this area as there is just so much growth and potential around here that this very sleepy quiet part of, of South Hillsborough County and Tampa Bay really does need some more attention as there's just so much going on. So I'm hoping I can do this within 10 minutes as there's a lot to talk about. And if I talk a bit quicker than normal, that is the reason, reason why, because there's just a lot to cover. So first of all, Ruskin, where is it? Okay, so Ruskin is located just south of Apollo Beach and it is just southwest of Riverview and east of Sun City. Uh, US 41 runs right the way through it. Um, if you blink, you'll miss it. Um, <laughs> Actually, that's a, that's a little bit harsh, but no, it is, it's just very small and, and quiet. The town center itself, it's very old school Florida. It's just like, it, it, it just kind of gives you that, that older vibe compared to a lot of other towns. And it just, it, you know, it's a very, it's at a slower pace than, than other towns, which, which I absolutely love it for. Um, but yeah, in the town center itself, there isn't really too much going on or much to shout about. But the location is absolutely awesome. Like I said, it, the 41 runs, runs right the way through it. And I-75 is like a mile up the road. It's, it's right off exit 240. Uh, that is your nearest put you know your nearest turn off to get to Ruskin and yeah it's just a, a very much up and coming thriving community um, you may have heard of a tiny little company called Amazon um, <laughs> they have just invested heavily in this area they've built a, a huge million square foot depot um, which is really delivering uh, to the Tampa and Sarasota areas just given 3,000 jobs to the community and the reason for that is because they can see the growth and potential that is absolutely imminent around us um, and yeah the knock-on effect to that is many many new homes um, if you come to Ruskin you will see there is new construction homes everywhere new communities a lot of builders fighting over each other to win your business um, and to try and stand out from the rest so Yes, if you are um, in the market for a new home, I would certainly look at Ruskin because there is just so much going on. It's incredible. Um, so today I want to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of Ruskin, why I feel it will be a great move for you or why I feel like it's there's certain things that aren't going to be so good. So I hope this I hope this is uh, beneficial for you. But the, the good side to Ruskin is it's affordable. It's the house prices here are, are right around the 200,000 mark. You could you can pretty much find a small single family home for under 200. Whereas in other areas of Tampa Bay, you're really going to struggle now. Um, so that is absolutely excellent. You know, there's a lot of um, there's a, like I said, there's a lot of opportunity for a new home. Now, Ruskin doesn't just have new homes. It has many, many homes that are on that aren't on deed. They don't have deed restrictions. No HOA. And if you want land and you want your own, you want to live on your own terms, um, then you know, and you want to park all your toys. There's many, many homes that you'll be able to find all across Ruskin. And although that it is a a small town, it covers a, a wide area. So, um, so you will find, you know, you really need to look at the different locations of Ruskin that really tailor to your lifestyle and where you want to be and where your commute is each day. Um, because it, like I said, it does cover a big area. Now, uh, the slight disadvantage I would say to being down here is the commute. It is further out than parts of Riverview and other, you know, other towns around us, even Apollo Beach. But you know, the house prices are kind of reflective in that. If you work from home, absolutely amazing. If your commute isn't through rush hour, even, you know, even better. Um, but it, you know, it is something you're gonna have to consider. Every, it, you're probably gonna add 10 to 15 minutes on each journey, um, being that just that extra few miles south uh, of, of Riverview, um, if you're looking at South Hillsborough County. Now, schools, schools, <laughs> schools are a slight disadvantage here. There aren't A-rated schools here, you know, compared to certain parts like Fish Orc and even Valrico, Riverview, they have some great schools in those areas. Ruskin doesn't have uh, schools that are ranked as highly. Now, there has to be more schools being built here over the years, that, over the next few years, there just has to be. Um, there's too many, there's too many people, there's too many homes being built population is absolutely on the rise. Um, I think in, in year 2000, there was like 8,300 people living here. 2010, there's like 
over double that, it was 17,500. And then again, in 2020, I think it's gonna double again. I think it absolutely has to. There's just too much growth going on in the area. And they have to accommodate that in, in terms of infrastructure. And you can certainly see in the roads here that they are expanding a lot of the roads as they're just, they, they cannot keep up with, with the growth. So. So yeah, if you are, I mean, if you, like I said, there is, there is something for everybody here, house in terms of housing. Like I said, if you're looking for a non-deed restricted home or an HOA home with, with brand new homes, you've got many, many options. If you are looking for a new home, I would look in Belmont, I would look in Cypress Creek, I would look in Cypress Mill, um, Hawks Point. I would look at all of those kind of new areas and compare them um, as you know, the location and HOA fees and CDD fees are gonna differ. So check that out, check out the, the options. And if you need any guidance, by all means, reach out to me as 70% uh, of my business is really new construction homes and, and working um, with these builders to get you the best deal and be in there throughout the process. Um, but also on top of that, I am right now in a, um, right now I am in a vacation resort called Little Harbour and it's just on a gorgeous sunset, uh, sunset setting should i say um it's cool there's a, a really nice eatery here called uh, sunset grill and it overlooks this whole area of of the bay which is st pete in the distance you've got st pete skyline right behind me and tampa bay right around the corner which you probably can't see um it is absolutely gorgeous here if you come here six o'clock onwards it's just absolutely beautiful so uh, thoroughly recommend you check this area out if you're looking for like a retreat and like a, a just a getaway this place is so quiet and it has its own private beach really really nice you can you know there's fishing dock right behind me you can go kayaking and there's a state park right around the corner eg simmons state park where they have like seafood festivals and just it's just you can go kayaking out there and you can have just this view behind me but you've paid a couple of bucks from that little bit more privacy so um, i really thoroughly recommend that you check that out and other than those two places right up the street on uh, shell point road you have uh, the fish house you have to go and check out there they've got fresh fish like fresh shrimp mullet uh, grouper the grouper is incredible and everybody just sits outside really nice vibe i absolutely love it there um, and yeah, it's just one of those local eateries that is just so fresh. So definitely check it out if you're into seafood. Um, other than that, um, what else can I say about Ruskin? Um, the congestion here is certainly less than what it is in Riverview. Definitely Brandon and Tampa. But I think when you get into Riverview, you'll notice there's a lot more cars here. Right now, it's very, you can easily freely move around. Even in rush hour, you're not going to have a problem here, but it's just more about when you get out and into the, you know, up further up north and the Highway 41 and on the interstate, that traffic could be a bit more once you are making a commute. Um, but listen, there is so much growth here that if you are looking for a new home in the Tampa Bay area, especially like a starter home, I would certainly recommend this place as it is just absolutely, it has something for everyone. If you're looking at the high end, if you're looking for a home with a dock um, and you're looking for a, direct access into Tampa Bay if you're a boater. I would look at the South, Sh South Shore Yacht Club, which is right here. Um, you can buy a brand new home in the 600,000s, um, which will be which will have a dock and will, you will go right out into Tampa Bay. Um, again, there are other communities too, but if you're looking for a new one, then that is where, where I recommend. So certainly something for everybody. Uh, I, hope this, I hope this was helpful. Uh, like I said, there's a lot to get through. Um, but if you, if, listen, I live right on this, uh, right on Ruskin's doorstep. I live in South Riverview, which is right up the street. Um, if I can be of any assistance, please reach out to me as um, I really do um, know this area, like the back of my hand. I've come to, you know, I live, I've lived here five years now and I'm here all the time with work, with, with coming out here on the, in the evenings, um, you know, to the beach here. It's just, it's a beautiful part and I can see the growth right in front of me. So yeah, if you need any help with just, just general information about the area, if you're looking for a home, if, um, if you're just looking for any sort of advice to do with Ruskin or this, this area in South Hillsborough County, give us a call. All of my information is below. And if you like this video, please, um, please give it a like and uh, subscribe to my channel if you'd like to hear more from me. Thanks again. Thanks so much. Take care.